water. Are you drinking water? Many times a day. Many times a day? So I got these sippy cups out because I just realized like Porter's seven months, like he can start drinking water now. He could start at six months and I've just been like so behind with him. So anyway, I got these out. These I used with Grayson and he liked them okay. He can Grayson's do it really good now. Water. Grayson's drinking water. Many times a day. Many times a day. I, he never really did good with these where you had to tilt them because he just never really got that. He gets it now, now that he's three. He's drinking his um, but I used to have to just use straws with him because he just didn't understand that you had to tip it. Yeah. So we're just hanging out. We are waiting for my sister Allison to arrive. It's Sunday. It's a week. It's been a week since Gray turned three. Um, and so we are actually going to go to the zoo today. Um, we have zoo passes. Anthony's parents pay every year for us to be zoo members. And I live like 10 minutes from the zoo, so it's super close. Um, Porter has only been to the zoo once before, yes. and that was yes. for Lights at the Zoo, yes. so we didn't really yes. see animals. Now that it's starting to get warmer outside, we Thanks thought it'd be fun to go with the boys. I think now that Grayson's three, he's gonna really enjoy the zoo. We've been talking about all the animals that we're gonna see. We're not gonna go for super long, just because they're kids, they're not gonna last long. But that's the best part of having a membership is you don't even have to go very long because it's free. So you're not, you don't feel like you're missing out on all this money you paid for admission. So I'm excited, she's um, on her way here, so she'll be here any minute, and then I'll just film a little bit when we go to the zoo. I'm sure Porter's not really gonna understand like what's going on, but I think Grayson will actually Actually really enjoy seeing the animals hopefully they're out and active I don't know in the springtime are animals active it's sunny today so we had to make reservations even though we have memberships just because they're still trying to limit the amount of people at the zoo and you do have to wear your mask even though it is outside so uh, those are bummers but it should still be really fun and it's not gonna be super hot like it's only a high of 62 today so it should be a nice spring day at the zoo so I'm excited we're gonna take my wagon um, Little side note, I'm still loving our Radio Flyer stroller wagon. Um, I actually prefer it over the double stroller that I have. And so we're gonna take that to the zoo. It's just super compact, super easy to uh, fold up and uh, lay out. So I really enjoy it. Am I looking like super tired today? Porter has been waking up three times a night lately and I am just dying from it. Um, I don't know why he all of a sudden is starting to do this, but the first time he usually wakes up, I'm usually still awake. He'll wake up at like 11.30 midnight, and so I'm usually still awake by then, but then he wakes up two additional times, usually around like three and then five. It's just rough. I'm just so tired. I'm, I'm like seriously considering just stopping breastfeeding and moving on to formula because my breast milk is, um, my supply is dipping and I feel like with formula maybe it would fatten him up more and he'd hold on to it more. I don't know. I'm just struggling with the night feeding. So anyway, I just wanted to put that in there too. But anyway, on to the zoo. Do you see Aunt Allison? Yes. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I thought he'd be more excited to see you. <laughs> so I got the camera out. <laughs>
Hey guys, so it's actually like a couple days later after we went to the zoo. Um, it was kind of chaotic there. Um, the boys did fine at the beginning in the wagon, but Gray always just gets so antsy and we don't usually buckle him in because then he can just get in and out. And I guess I should really start buckling him in because he starts going crazy and then he almost always ends up kicking Porter and then Porter starts screaming. Anyway, so it was kind of crazy, um, but he did love that playground. I think he and Allison played on it for like 20 minutes straight. He loved it. So I was, I think the playground was more fun to him than any of the animals. So I guess he needs to get a little bit older to actually appreciate the animals. But anyway, I didn't record anything else after that because honestly, it's been a rough couple days. The kids have just really been getting on my nerves, but look how cute they are right now. Are you playing with Porter? Hi, Porter! Hi, buddy! You give Porter a kiss? Oh, he loves that! And we've got Felix, too. He's going crazy. Hi, Porter! Are you gonna bounce? He's just starting to figure out how to bounce in this thing. He bounces, he Yeah, show him how to jump. Great, show how to show Porter how to bounce. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Can you bounce? Bounce, bounce, bounce. Yeah, can you jump? Show Porter how to jump. Jump. Hi. Are you making that face? He's been making this cute little scrunched up nose face. Are you gonna do it? Hi! I'll input a clip here that I took on Snapchat of Porter. He makes this cute little scrunched up nose face and it's adorable. So I'll input that here. Anyway. Oh, he's mad because I walked away. It's okay. I'm right here. He gets mad if I walk away. Hi, Bubba. He said I want all the attention. <laughs> okay, so I got Porter out because he was mad. And now look. Grayson, that's not for you. That's for Porter. He likes to get in the bouncer and then he gets Grayson stuck. Jumps. Okay, Gray jump. Can you jump? Oh my gosh, you're too big. You need like a trampoline. Okay, so anyway, like I was saying, it's been a rough couple days. Porter, like two nights ago, I don't know for whatever reason, he was up until 1.30 in the morning and then he got up again at like six and he's been waking up three times a night. I really don't know why, but it's killing me. So I'm like exhausted. So I've been dealing with the sleepless nights Grayson, for whatever reason, keeps peeing all over his bed sheets. I put the pull up on him, but it's like he he like drags it down and then he just like pees everywhere. Gray's like having a meltdown. That's another problem is Grayson's being like a three-nager and demanding that I do I have to like say everything exactly right. I have to pay all my attention to him and I have two kids, so that's kinda hard to do. You say hi? Um, so that was really hard. It's just been really rough. The kids have been like teaming up on me, it feels like. I've been doing the sleepless nights and then Grayson's just been really demanding of my attention. Porter's been really demanding of my attention. <laughs> so I'm sorry that this vlog is like so, it's just really me talking and I'm so sorry about that. But I just wanted to like give an update a couple days later. Like we had a great time at the zoo, but I'm losing my mind here with two kids. Here's the other problem. He gets in this thing, which he's obviously too big for, and then he can't get out of it. So then I have to get him out. Grayson, we don't go in there. Also, I had a really hard time because yesterday, Grayson got into the puffs. So we had this container of puffs. I'll show you guys. It's just this container of puffs. He knows how to get the lid off, and so he did, and then he proceeded to spill the whole container on the floor here in the living room. And so I said, Grayson, you need to clean that up. 
pick them all back up and put them in the container. I know he's perfectly capable of handling that. It took him two hours to follow that command. He, and I think he honestly ate most of the puffs rather than picking them up and putting them back in the container. I was so frustrated with him and he's three. I can't be like, you better do this or no TV for the rest of the day. He doesn't care. You better do this or I'm gonna throw a toy away. He doesn't care. You better do this or, or what? No milk or, I mean like he just doesn't care. And so I literally just had to wait on his terms and then finally he ended up picking most of them up. But basically like I kept putting him in timeout, that wasn't working and so basically I just said, okay, you're gonna sit here until you do it. And so he would try to get up and go play in his playroom and I just would pick him up each time and put him back. And eventually after two hours he did it. So. Parenting win or parenting fail? I'm not quite sure.